Hi all, thank you so much. So as you can see my screen, uh, today I'll be discussing on Kafka installation and there are other things as well as to what is the Kafka, how it internally work, what is Zookeeper. I mean, these are the key things I've noted here, broker and replication, what is topic, partition, segment, offset, you know, producer and consumer, and what are the tool to, uh, to, to explore your Kafka. I mean cluster like the off, uh, the offset detail, the partition detail, the topic detail and all. So we know Kafka is messaging system as of now. It's vastly being used uh, everywhere in organization. Okay. So at the end, we'll discuss on as to how to install the Kafka and that would be on my local machine. It would be Windows version. Okay. So and and how Kafka work, I'll, I'll take up this question at the end. So I, I try to, you know, put up everything together so that you have some in, initial knowledge if you're, if you're starting to work on this Kafka uh, things. Okay. So starting with what is Zookeeper, uh, basically. So Zookeeper is something you can say uh, a container, you know, uh, which, uh, which is basically uh, managing the uh, which knows and which coordinate with your Kafka cluster, which knows as to when the Kafka uh, topic got created, topic got deleted, and other detail, you know, uh, when the broker died, when topic was removed, topic was added, and so on. So, Zookeeper is a sort of tool which is managing your Kafka, which has the Kafka cluster detail, and uh, uh, which, which I would say it works in, in sync and it has all the uh, information of Kafka cluster. Okay, so Zookeeper you can install on your uh, same machine wherein you have the Kafka cluster or if you want you can install Zookeeper on any other uh, other machine. So it could be you know standalone or, uh, or or on the same machine. What is broker and replication? Broker is server basically. You may have multiple broker on uh, in a same I mean single cluster uh, Kafka cluster and or you might have multiple brokerage so this is something which goes inside your kafka cluster it is server and replication replication is based on i mean as to how many replication you have defined if you want to uh, keep the data uh, replicated on any server okay topic uh, what is topic i mean i'll not go in detail but yes uh, i'm just trying to uh, you know touch upon the uh, key things Topic. So I would say I'll, I'll just say here yeah, the topic is basically uh, I'll just try to you know uh, create a shape here. So shop is some topic is something like your you know folder. Just say it's a uh, something like a folder you know uh, which uh, which, uh, uh, which for which you are giving something you know some name like uh, I'll, I'll just put here uh, it's a test topic okay. So it is a test topic and you have given it the na name, the test topic and it has uh, zero or, I mean, it cannot have zero, but it must have one partition or more. So if you may have multiple partition into it. So while you create, you may have multiple partition, uh, you know, or you may have at least one partition. So this topic, nothing but a folder or name, you can say a space, name space, wherein your multiple partition are, uh, are line. And partition is uh, you know, partition is something I would say a, a segment in your topic. You know, as you create the topic, you also provide the number of partition you want to create into a topic. So that partition is something you know area wherein your index file, your log file, everything will be stored. So that is what it is the partition. And segment you see below at the partition. So segment is having two files. Segment segment is something is known. Uh, I mean, I mean, ultimately would be known as an offset. You know, so segment is having two things. Uh, log, it's a log file and index. So basically, uh, the detail of the data and the offset value and the index value. So that that segment has two things. You know, the log and index. Okay, and offset is something known to be segment only at the end. Offset, you know, when when you're accessing any uh, data, so every data has its own offset value. I mean the uh, I, uh, key value. You know, uh, which is known to be the ID of that particular location or the data. Okay, so that is what it is. Offset is called. So offset is basically. Uh, if I have to show here, if you have a partition zero, you know, I'll just try to uh, just write down something here. So if it is your P zero, 
partition one and you have data one, two, three, four, five. These are the offset, you know, offset ID one, two, three, four, five. And any data coming into it, it will have offset value six. So producer will write the data into it and it will go, uh, you know, uh, appending at the end. So this the data goes into uh, it like a, a linked list sort of, you know, uh, collection value. So any any new data will, will be appended here and it will have their own offset. So this, offset one, two, three, four, five. So these are basically offset ID, okay? And so uh, this offset ID is known to, I mean, if you have any consumer, consumer is uh, trying to consume the data from it and you might have multiple consumer as well, consumer one, consumer two. So if your current offset is five, I mean, the total data is five and consumer one is accessing till two, consumer uh, second consumer is accessing uh, offset value four. So every consumer have their own offset ID. They will know it, you know, they'll remember it and you you will be having the maximum so you may have multiple consumer group and every consumer group will be having their norm, name as well so you can find i mean you'll able to know that uh, which all consumers are accessing your data so that is what offset is about producer consumer it's a very known we know producer is something who's writing data into your kafka topic and consumer who's accessing your data so you may have zero or more consumer you know and for producer to write data into it Kafka UI tool, there are multiple tools as well available as of now through which you can explore, you know, uh, the Kafka cluster. You know, you can see the topic, you can create, you can delete, and you can also see the partitions and uh, further detail onto it. So as of now, I see Offset Explorer, and uh, it's, a, it's a free for, uh, I mean, single use, I would say, not for the uh, company or uh, in any organization. So, these are the thing I have captured here. And uh, again, just revisiting it. So partition are Kafka storage unit, basically, you know, and partition are split into segment further on. It get in, uh, split into segment. And segment are of two file log and your index file. And log and index is basically having the, it stores the value in form of like a hash map, you know, it has key and value. So segment have two things and the log and index and uh, both log and index having their offset ID and uh, 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 basically the identifier to connect or to identify a particular record. Okay, so I'll, I'll jump into uh, as to install this on my local machine. Okay, so uh, first of all, this is the Kafka uh, Apache RG download page you can visit. No, and from here you can download uh, any version of it. So I have uh, downloaded 2.12 uh, and let us see 2.13 you can see. So you can download this zip. So I've already downloaded. I'll go to my folder location and what changes I have made, I'll also uh, let you guys know. So this is the Kafka I've downloaded and inside data, what I have uh, created new things is created two folder Kafka and Jukipper because both the Kafka and Jukipper is running on my same machine. So I wanted the log should be separated. Created two folder Kafka and Jukipper. And uh, inside, inside config, you see the Jukipper properties and server property. So these two properties are, are for um, uh, Jukipper and uh, Kafka cluster configuration detail. So for Jukipper, what I have made the changes is uh, just the data directory I've given the new folder that I've created into it this uh, this path I've given uh, for the data directory and similarly in the server server properties I've given the path for Kafka folder so this is manually created otherwise it will have the default one and the uh, second thing your Jukeeper will have a port as 2181 default port so I'll move to this one. So Jukeeper, we know it's used for reliable distribution coordination. I've just noted here. And the Jukeeper is having 2181 default port. And similarly, your Kafka server cluster is having 9092 default port. So uh, once you've done, I mean, you made those two changes. First of all, you created the two folder into data, and then you're changing the data directory of Jukeeper property and server property. So this that's all the changes we do. And then, Simply, we can rush into starting the Jukeeper and uh, Kafka cluster server. So to start the Jukeeper, this is the command till here. I mean, Jukeeper server start out bad since this is um, uh, installed on my Windows. 
operating system so i'll use the batch file okay and if you have unix you can use the ss file so you'll be having all the configuration uh, of both the uh, version i mean the batch and ss for windows and uh, unix machine uh, respectively and further on you give the property so this is not needed i'll say i'll just uh, take this down and so till here you just need to start i mean you can open cmd and you can hit so this is the some uh, the zookeeper i've already restarted and this is a command you can start dot batch file and then configuration of that uh, properties apache kafka we know it's a scalable messaging queue uh, i mean we have already discussed and it is used for io operation you know you can it can handle lack of data you know thousand of um, lack of data I mean, in a very few, very few times. So we know it's an open source also, and most of the companies are using this Apache Kafka uh, messaging service only. To start uh, Kafka server, uh, I mean, you can again use the CMD, and uh, you can you can you can locate your uh, uh, CMD to that particular folder. I mean, the folder is basically you need to go into bin and then windows the, here uh, for the windows you have different uh, section you know and these are for the unix machine so you need to go to windows and here you have the command you can use uh kafka server start out batch and then the kafka server properties file again this is the port i've just noted here for the information and it is not needed to be you no know, in your restart command so this is the command to start the kafka cluster and uh, if you want to create any topic, you can use the Kafka topic batch file again. The create command zookeeper, you need to let it know as the zookeeper detail. I mean, it is also uh, installed on uh, and running on local machine. So I've given the local host and then port and the application factor as of now is one because I do not have multiple uh, broker and and partition I've given one. So here you can uh, specify the partition value. I mean, for this particular uh, this is the name, you know, test topic name is the test. So for this test, I'm um, uh, uh, creating one partition only you can have multiple part partition value here okay so this will create your test topic okay if you want to know as to how many test topic or topic detail you uh, is there in, on a particular kafka cluster you can use this command i'll try to show here i have another command from and then i'll try to show here so as soon as you hit this kafka topic dot batch and uh, you, you're using the list command and you're giving the zookeeper details so it will list out all the topic let me just see if it is running uh, let me restart it give me a second So Jukeeper got started. Similarly for Kafka cluster, let me kill this existing instance and then I'll try to restart it. Okay, so this is, I think it started. So now we can use, yeah. So as soon as that uh, Jukeeper detail, uh, Jukeeper server, uh, server instance got started, it has given me the output. So uh, with this command, Kafka topic batch, and if you use the list command, you will have the topic detail, all the topic detail. So these are my topic, test topic one, test, and these are the, the topic detail I have. Uh, if you want to describe any topic, you can use this uh, again Kafka topic batch file and describe with the command. So if I use this, let's hit this Kafka topic batch and then describe command. And for test topic one, I want to know more about it. So it will give me the detail of this topic. I think it is on start.
so we need to have zookeeper running I, I think it's throwing some exception so okay this cluster not getting started And let me restart it from fresh, I guess. Uh, so let me let me try to restart it again. I'll kill this instance. Yeah, so I mean now it 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 has run. You can see the describe command has worked. You know, so I have test topic one. It has uh, uh, three partition zero one and two. Okay, and replication is zero as of now, and ISR is also. I mean, it's not uh, data is not being replicated anyway. So this leader and replication is all one uh, zero only. I do not have any further instance. So these are the detail of this uh, you know uh, topic. So similarly, you can. Uh, I mean, there are other commands, but if you want to delete any topic, you can delete this uh, using the delete command and topic name you need to pass and this joke for detail. So that's all I wanted to, you know, know uh, just jot down here. And this is for, I would say, the, the brief description, brief uh, definition of the Kafka and other thing, the important, important thing, you know. So if you want to install, you can install it on your machine and you can write the uh, any solution to uh, I mean the producer and consumer to write the message into topic and read mess top message from the that particular topic. So I have already created some of the video wherein I have used the Spring Boot solution to write the message into topic and also to consume the message from there. Okay, and there are other video as well in my uh, YouTube channel, so you can go through it. So yeah, that is pretty much for this. I mean, in, for the initial information, for the basic information, that is what I thought to. Uh, putting together in order to know, uh, you know, in brief. So thank you so much for your patience and time. See you.